On the outside looking in All it takes is one win It's a race back to chaos Nobody can break us To prove we're the best Rise above the rest To prove we have what it takes There's no room for mistakes To prove we're the greatest We know what our fate is Welcome to Proving Grounds Welcome, everybody, to a special edition of PDW Proving Grounds. We have some very special matches for you guys tonight, including this one right here, a triple threat qualifying match for the PDW Community Championship. Everybody who didn't make it to the final for the PDW Championship has been entered into this. This is the first of four triple threats. And introducing first, we have Red Wolf. Red Wolf picked up a huge win on Chaos this past Sunday against Brett Willows, who issued an open challenge to the roster. It was a fantastic match. Red Wolf putting in a really, really impressive showing. And that could swing the tide in his favor tonight. And his opponent, Daza! Now, Daza only just entering the Community Championship qualifiers after being beaten by Rookie on Sunday night. He was undefeated up to that point. And will now be looking for redemption here on Proving Grounds tonight. He will mean business. I'm looking forward to this match. This one is going to be an absolute barnstormer. And finally, finally their, their opponent, opponent making, making their, their way, way to the, the ring. Eerie! Now here comes Eerie. Unfortunately, has been, well, has been waiting for a qualifying match since losing to Flipper Rabbit in the PDD, PDW Championship Tournament. But he is here now, very much in contention for the community title. I mean, you look at all the competitors who are in these qualifying matches, the first of which is right now. The following three triple threat matches will take place this Sunday on PDW Chaos exclusively over on twitch.tv forward slash project dits live with a replay going up on YouTube the day after. Everybody who's in those triple threat matches you could argue deserves at the very least an opportunity to become community champion here in PDW.
Now, of course, triple threat rules dictate that there are no disqualifications. Anything goes tonight. Madar's looking to pull this one off early, but Red Wolf breaks up the bit. Only a one count there. Nice swinging neck breaker from Daza there, but he is met by a block by Iri. We've got two of our big hitters in Iri and Daza in this match. But Wolfie ain't small in comparison, it has to be said. Red Wolf has all the strength. Very athletic as well as Red Wolf. You wouldn't think it based on his size, but he can do a lot. Eerie known to go up high on the top rope. Daza as well. We saw that this past Sunday on Chaos. Hitting his uh, signature leg drop on the top rope. Snake Eyes onto the apron. It looked like Red Wolf was trying to throw them into the steel steps there, but to no avail. Daz throwing back into the ring. Eerie now throwing Red Wolf back into the ring. And there we go. I, I mentioned at the start of the match, anything goes tonight. Eerie, very aware of that rule, bringing in a kendo stick. But unable to use it. Daz with the strikes, but Red Wolf counters and delivers some strikes of his own. Now, Red Wolf has a little bit of a reputation here in PDW for making his opponents bleed. Now, he was unable to do so on Chaos this past Sunday. And he did make it known backstage that he was unhappy about that fact. And he did say before this match tonight, Either the cat bleeds or Daza bleeds. So we'll see. Although, actually, we're going to need to get a close up of Red Wolf's face here. I think Red Wolf might be the one who's bleeding right now. It looks like he's got a cut on the nose. Oh, and here he hung up to dry there on the ropes. Daza needs to get in to break this up. Oh, here he kicks out anyway. Oh, big gloves line into the corner. Red Wolf rolling out of the ring, getting a breather. Where's the cameraman when you need him? We need him to. We need him to take a look at Red Wolf's face here. I need confirmation that he's bleeding. suplex into a pin yeah it certainly uh, from, from that angle there it definitely looked like Red Wolf's been busted open oh I hear he launching that chair into Tarza's face here he just oh there's a headbutt <laughs> he wasn't bleeding before. He probably is now. Oh, 
Right, Red Wolves recovered. Oh, Eerie dodging that. Oh, big slam. What Stars are going to do here? Got Eerie against the ropes. He's going to target that left leg. Oh. And Wolfie not even letting anything happen there. Dars just tossed aside by Eerie. If anybody can match Dars' size here in PDW, it is Eerie. And so Kendo sticks to the back of Red Wolf's head. Big slam. Dars are delivering the drop kick. Oh! Now I don't. We don't. We don't I can't really see Eerie's face there, but. I would imagine that has just drawn some blood. Oh, you can definitely see Red Wall's face now. There is definitely no hiding it. Big Daza! Big leg drop. Goes for the pin. But Red Wolf there to break it up. That blood on Red Wall's face becoming more prominent as the match goes on. It seems to be... It seems to be the headbutt of Eerie a couple of minutes back that accelerated that crimson mask. And if you look around the ring now, you can see Red Wolf's blood. Like he has been cut open badly. But you can see how much this means to not only Red Wolf, but to Daza and Eerie as well. How much it means to become the inaugural community champion. And both, all three men standing up there, and here we go. And another Snake Eyes this time. Oh, oh my god! Big and Shiguri from Red Wolf. And Daz is going for the spin. Red Wolf has to capitalize on here. He has got both of them where he wants them. Oh, but here he breaking that momentum. Goes for the pin here. Red Wolf kicks out at two. You've got to imagine, though, as this match wears on, the longer it goes, the more blood that Red Wolf loses. I mean, look at the ring now. The canvas is caked in Red Wolf's blood. Like, he has to be getting weak. But it doesn't seem to be phasing him. I mean, he really is putting the red in Red Wolf tonight. German suplex to Daza. Oh, and slams Daza face first into the mat. But here he is straight back into the ring. And Daza's going to roll outside. Oh, that's a huge move. Here he's going to go for the pin here. Red Wolf has to get in and break this up. And he does. Oh! Godbuster there on Daza. And you don't want to get headbutted by Eerie. All punched in the face like that. Eerie going up top. Big splash. Is it going to be enough? Is Stars going to be able to make it in the ring? Yes, he does. And 
snap suplex by Daza. Daza feeling some momentum now. Hit the drop kick on, on Erie. Erie now taking a breather on the outside. If he's going to... Oh, we just saw that from Erie moments ago. Daza now has done it to Red Wolf. But it's not enough. Red Wolf kicking out at two. The match goes on. Now, of course, we will change the canvas. Ready for our second match of the evening. But right now, we have a battleground that has been painted red. Oh, neck breaker by Daza. Red Wolf's going to leave the ring there, rolling outside. Daza setting up his finisher. Here we go. It's time for the Brain Buster. There it is. Wolfie's not going to get here in time. Two. Three. Here is your winner. Daza. Wow. We did say. He even said. He is out for redemption following his loss to Rocky on Sunday, and he has done just that. He will now compete for the Community Championship at PDW Ascension in a Fatal 4-Way. We have two Fatal 4-Ways at Ascension, one for the PDW Championship and now one for the Community Championship. And Dars, the first name in that second Fatal 4-Way. That was an incredible match. Red Wolf unlucky not to get back in there. But the loss of blood had to pay or play a huge part. He took it. He had to take a breather on the outside. Dars took advantage. And Red Wolf, unfortunately, not, enough, not, not quick enough to get into the ring to break that up. Darza into contention now for the Community Championship at PDW Ascension. The following the contest, contest is scheduled, scheduled for one fall. Four. Introducing first, Lucky Gabe. Lucky Gabe, a huge fan favorite in PDW. Unfortunate not to make it through from the first round in the PDW Championship. He lost to Daza, who we just saw win in the first match tonight. He will face Punisher here tonight and will take part in one of three triple threat matches this Sunday at PDW Chaos, as well as opponent Punisher tonight. This match is all about gaining momentum for that Community Championship qualifier. And his opponent, Punisher! And here comes Punisher. Another first round exit. Nightbringer advanced at his expense. But despite that, you have to think that Punisher is in for a good shout at becoming the inaugural community champion. And here we go, Punisher getting straight into this with a shin breaker on Lucky Gabe. Now Lucky Gabe relies on aerial offense. So Punisher would be wise to target those legs. But let's be honest, Punisher will do anything to wear you down. 
Remember that's aiming for your legs or your face. What a moonsault from Lucky Game. Nice and early. That's a one count though. Punishing. Kicking out nice and early. Now we're still to come tonight. We have a fatal five-way match between the women of PDW. With the winner advancing to PDW Ascension. Where they'll compete for the PDW Scream Queens Championship. That is our main event tonight. But right now, Lucky Gabe and Punisher going right at it. Oh, big chop. Our oh, Punisher wise to it, reverses it to a clothesline. Oh, big overhand chop. Snap Mariner a kick to the back. And Game Sigling a big, huge knee. But what? Punisher just kicked up. And I guess that's what you get. Another moonsault from Lucky Gabe. Oh, look at that. One, two. Oh, a near fall. I thought that was it, but Punisher kicking out at two. I mean, this match hasn't been going on too long, but the crowd are loving it. Already calling for fight forever. Unlucky Gabe taking a little bit of a breather now. Punisher's not going to give it to him now and dives over the top rope. <laughs> you thought Gabe was the only person that could do that stuff in this match? Gay just tossed around on the outside. And strikes the back of the head. Oh, this, he slammed his face right into the mat. It looks like it looks like Lucky Gabe's been busted open. He has. You just saw then. He just saw them. He tried to flick the blood out of his eyes. Lucky Gabe busted over the mat. A huge slam into the mat. Oh, and a meteora from Punisher. Oh, okay. Uh, Punisher completely missing the, the kick on that one. And a moonsault of his own. Springboard moonsault. Is that going to be enough? No. One count. The crowd are loving this. Some big clotheslines. Oh! A kick to the face. Will that be enough? No, that's a two count. Slowly wearing down. Lucky Gabe. Punisher is looking impressive tonight. And you can see Punisher targeting the head of Lucky Gabe. Ever since he found out he busted him open there on the outside. And a kick to the head. That has got to be it. And it is. Wow. Here is your winner by pinfall. Punisher. Wow. Gabe clearly in a bad way after being busted open on the outside. A little bit woozy, a little bit weak. And Punisher is not the kind of guy to give you breathing space after that kind of injury. Huge 
twisting kick to the side of Lucky Game's head. And that is enough for Punisher to gain the momentum before he enters one of the triple threat matches this Sunday on PDW Chaos on Twitch.tv forward slash Project Dits. Wow. A lot of people might be surprised by that result, but... Although this is where you get your momentum for Sunday, Sunday is where it all counts. Punisher, an impressive win tonight against Lucky Gabe. The, the following, following match, match is, is a, a fatal, fatal five-way five Scream Queens Championship, Championship qualifying match. match. Introducing, Introducing first... first. The Sapster! The Sapster ready tonight to prove her worth, to prove that she could be the inaugural Scream Queens champion. She has already been successful in multi person matches, having won. Her uh, first round triple threat match for the PDW Women's Championship. Unfortunately, coming up short in the semi finals. Will that be enough for her to push for a win tonight? And her opponent, opponent. Muscles Marinara! Muscles as well. In for a shout at being the inaugural Scream Queens champion. Unfortunately, he exited the PDW Women's Championship tournament in the first round. But in for a very, very good shout tonight. To advance to PDW Ascension. Now we don't know who the winner of this match will face until this Sunday on Chaos where the final Fatal 5-Way match will take place. But any one of these in the final would be incredible. And her opponent... The, the life, life of, of the, the party, party. Lily Bun. Lily Bun, a huge fan favorite here in PDW. Actually, coming off a win against uh, the PDW Women's Championship Tournament finalist, Lady Stabs Rena, defeating her. In her own game, a submission match two weeks ago on PDW Chaos. That was, I mean, we were all impressed. The fans were impressed. The staff here impressed. The wrestlers impressed. Lady Staff Rena, not a tough opponent to beat. And Lady Lilybun did it. And made it look easy, too. Introducing next, Jenny Omega. There's just a special aura around Jenny Omega whenever she makes her way to the ring. I'm looking forward to seeing what she is capable of pulling off tonight. It was unfortunately another first round exit for Jenny Omega in the Women's Championship Tournament. But coincidentally, 
The two women that were competing in that triple threat are in this fatal five-way with her. Muscles Marinara and, of course, the winner of that match, Dake. Game on. And her opponent, Dig. Now, a lot of people actually would have said that Dig would have been in the final of the PDW Women's Championship Tournament. She was very, very impressive in the triple threat match. Also picked up a big win here on Proving Grounds the week prior to that. Unfortunately, came up short against Lady Stabs Rena. But speaking of chaos, you know this match is going to be full of it. Fatal five-way qualifying match for the Scream Queens Championship. Stabs there with a Russian leg sweep on Jenny Omega. Now, you really have to strategize a good game plan to win here tonight not only do you have to pin your opponent for a free count you have to prevent the other three three competitors in this match from breaking it up it's a big ask you've just got to hope that they are restless distracted on the outside of the ring or on the other side of the ring Lily going for an early cover here. Here's a two count. And that's what I mean. If you get everybody else distracted and not realizing you've gone for the pin, then this is doable. But Lily Bun almost picking up a win there early on. Muscles rolling up the sapster, but that's been broken up. And muscles tossing. Her opponent around there. But Lily Bun on the attack. A suplex from Dake there, but eats a drop kick from Lily Bun. And the Sapster has brought in some weaponry. Just like all multi person matches here in PDW, this is no disqualification. Weapons are good to go. Oh, and a big stomp from Dig. Oh, and Dig dives to the outside, but completely missed. But she's okay. She's okay. She's pandering to the crowd there. She is absolutely fine. Oh, the stuplex with the bridge. One, two, and Dig breaking that pin up in the ring. Wasn't going to eat that kendo stop from uh, Jenny Omega there. An inverted suplex from, from the Sapster to Dake. Dake wisely rolling out of the ring. And in fact, Sapster's going to follow her. And here we go. Uh, just a one count there. Now look what we have here. Lilybon and Muscles Marinara on their own in the ring. If you're going to try and win this match, now is the time to do it. Lilybon, you're trying to use the kendo stick there, but missing. Muscles Marinara dodging out of the way. And here we go. Muscles is going to start to take control. Trying to take over. Everybody else is still outside of the ring here. Wearing the legs down of Lily Bun. Well, Lily Bun shoots straight back up after that move. Sends muscles into the corner. And a clothesline. 
And the Sapsa and Day teaming up on the outside of the ring against Jenny Omega, but that was a short-lived alliance. Jenny Omega with the strikes to the Sapsa. So in the leg, but Dave now in. Looks like Dave's gonna get Jenny Omega back into the ring and does. Terrible place to enter. Straight into the path of Muscles Marinara's double axe handle off the top rope. And now, just Jenny Omega and Lily Bun in the ring together. Muscle's going to get a weapon here. What's she going to get? A steel chair is now into the match. And Sapster takes it to the face. And Daig now eating the chair as well. DDT on the inside of the ring. And a springboard moonsault. Jenny has got nobody here that can break up the pin if she goes for it, but the Saps are now entering. That was the time to go for the cover on Lily Bun there. Wasted opportunity, but applies the sleeper hold. Muscles Marinara getting in the ring, but it doesn't matter. The Saps gets out of it. Oh, and slam to the mat. Dig now breaking up that pin. All the women back in the ring now. This is where it is difficult to achieve anything. But another double team, Lily Bun and the Saps are working together against Dave. Again, another short alliance. And here we go. The Saps are taking a breather on the outside. Muscles and Jenny distracted on the outside. Dave and Lily. Well, Dave's going to try to capitalize here with a big punch there, but only in one count. And Samson taking out two people there. Oh, and Dave, a springboard crossbody. That's the two count against Muscles Marinara. And Lily going for a cover of her own. What? Here is your winner by pinfall. pinfall. Lily Burn! Now I'm gonna have to catch a replay of that. I don't know. I don't know what went down there. I was watching Dig do the springboard crossbody. We're going to have to see what happened, but Lilybud picking up the win and advancing through to the Scream Queens Championship match at PDW Ascension. Not easy to win a fatal five-way match, but Lily has done it here tonight. Fresh off the win against Lady Stabs Rena two weeks ago as well. You have to be impressed. But that was a special edition of PDW Proving Grounds. Championship qualifiers are plenty. Lilibon ending the night on a high. And we will see who will face her at PDW Ascension to become the inaugural Scream Queens champion this Sunday. PDW Chaos live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash project it. Proving Grounds, of course, a YouTube exclusive show. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Hit those comments. Let us know what your favorite match was tonight. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. PDW Proven Grounds every Wednesday night. PDW Chaos Replay every Monday. With the highlights of that show dropping on the following Friday. There is a lot of PDW to enjoy here on YouTube. 
So make sure you subscribe, like the video, and yeah, post some comments in there. Let us know what you think. But we will see you for PDW Chaos this Sunday. Thank you for tuning in. On the outside looking in All it takes is one win It's a race back to chaos Nobody can break us To prove we're the best Rise above the rest To prove we have what it takes There's no room